It's a Wednesday, you know what that means? Some more Simfo gear. But of course, after the ending of that season with the world saved, the moon put back into place, and no more heroes, want to cool down a little with some little OVA things? Some little OVA things. I know they're only about 13 minutes each, so rather than split them up, just watch them both here. We can get to it immediately then. So, whatever an OVA of Symphony Gear can actually give us, I don't know. Say that about pretty much everything though. But I know you're excited, otherwise why else would you be here? So let's get down to it. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing they're all going to be this art style now. I like like the craft paper <laughs> background and kind of leaking of all of the ink. One of them doesn't particularly mind about being cooped away. Hmm. The fact that she's <laughs> from one issue to another. I wonder if the going stir crazy in a, in a room alone is going to be the issue or just having to listen to her. What about the fact that you, she might think that you're you know, no longer amongst the living? The amount that she's contemplating and talking about Miku, they really are close, aren't they? <laughs> Hi. Don't get her thinking, it might overheat her. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she was more worried about a friend than herself over in any occasion, to be fair. She can't let that guard down. Something to make every situation better, no matter what kind of pain you're in. A good lunch. You know, have a Snickers. <laughs> After she was trying her best to be friendly and... Well, was she offering to pay for the food? That ca In that case. And also, each... Just let her have this little contemplative moment. Is there going to be some interruption each time that she's in deep thought? Can, can, can you stop staring? It's a bit difficult to be dark and brooding when you've got eyes on you constantly. So she is constantly on edge, no matter what. I like that it's taking the character traits and amping them up to 12 in this. And there, yeah, that's the what she signed up for. Ah, you have a little gathering and greeting for them. I like this form art style for him. So it's a celebration not only for their her joining, but 
They can go back to normality. Well, as normal as they can... As their lives I can actually be. I don't... I wouldn't be too, um... Too happy about it. We know what happens after these kind of re revelations. And there goes all of her free time. You know, that's why I'm glad my doors have internal locks on, so no matter if, if they have a key or not, can't get in. <laughs> I do like this is on the early stages of them trying to get a lot, get on, get along. So they still not exactly sure how to fight in sync. Small misunderstandings. Even in a moment like this, st can't stop the music from swelling up. It does remind me the... I think she was a little... a little upset. <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts, but in this case it's just... pounding on the ribcage. Yeah, the first season in its bluff of the um, portrait and the memorial to Biggie. I think she'd be okay with that um, eventuality. How bold of them out in public as well. Oh, just before the start of G, okay. So after the uh, disaster that we saw in the... of the old one. How do you sing? <laughs> huh, do, do you get the lyrics come up as well? So in a sense, yes, actually. Actually getting a description, an explanation of how the gears work in the songs. The imagery from the user's mind. Hmm. Do you ever want to, uh... <laughs> harm them more than they already have? I need to pay attention to a lot more of the lyrics and their meaning from the heart that they actually actually give out. Mm hmm. And this is going to be them sorting out the room. Quite convenient, actually. Make use of all the limited space you actually have. Yeah, but you can't take away the idea of sleeping together out of her mind, can you? There you go. That is quite the declaration there. You can go one upper. Go and one upper. Hmm. I mean, she is that bundle of enthusiasm. It's kind of infectious. If 
food. Yep. <laughs> Any sort of preparation and, yeah, the amount of bikes that have fallen in the line of duty. <laughs> if you had to pay them out of their own pocket. I mean, would you want anyone else to go on a shopping trip than uh, the commander himself? I mean, anything that, uh, you know, suits her taste, but... Uh, I wonder what her interior decorating is going to be like if she's looking... Hmm. Could be worse. So that's the only reason that she made him go along, you know, carry this for me. Ah, and a suitable, suitably somber and respectful meaning behind it all. About to be dashed against the rocks, right? Ha. Huh. Why were the police involved? Is carrying a shrine against the law somehow? It must be tiring. Constantly being on edge. Not only ready for battle at any time, but her popularity is something needs to be addressed. How's her general knowledge? Hmm. Okay. Anyone would know that as long as you have a passing knowledge on ancient Japanese culture and uniforms. <clears throat> and history? I guess bet I get a, a zero out of ten out of these. I mean, so as long as all of the questions are somewhat military orientated, she's going to get them all. Terrible. <laughs> so. Has she has to work it into her, her schedule now. She should have done worse on the questionings. On the answers, at least. He is working tirelessly behind the scenes. You know, him and the commander really are the true powerhouses behind all of this. Don't have a gear or anything, but not going to let that stop them. surprisingly a humble way of starting off the mo mornings. Don't know if I would have expected it entirely, but from her, maybe. And a good way to balance some of the insanity from earlier. And since we got the just after the moon and just before G, it is going to be slightly further along in the timeline. How could she possibly think of leaving her alone to be just the two of them together? Getting a little jealous there. The f <laughs> she might need to stop mentioning being alone with her, the, the, you know, the other one away from her. How could you be so, so terrible to her? Ah. 
They're just work colleagues. <laughs> the day of the event. She is so caring, trying to put out to put together a meal plan for the others. <laughs> Store as much as you can in a Tupperware box. Is there going to be anything left on the table after this? See, that's where we know where all of his evil comes from. It's the fast food. She is breaking the sound barrier, just trying to... Mm. Breaking the sound barrier just to collect a few treats. I guess that would be, you know, the highs of the, the life there. But then you get the real dregs where they don't even put out a, a slight snack bar. So, you know, this is a joint effort. <laughs> to think that she fell into a collapse of despair just after meeting her like that. She put on a big song and dance and show of it all when we first saw her in the concert, so... Having this where she's actually a little more insecure, I like that added detail. Gives her a slightly different context to how you see it. The cute type. Is she seeing see the same things as we are? What is her perception of all of this? I see that he kept that thought in his own mind. If only it, they could have gotten on so well without having to fear for the world after this. And especially after thinking that the, the Grand Idol was such a potentially just cute type. Is this a meet and greet after the fact? Not about the safety of the world. I mean, even with the... potential dangers and threat to human life, I mean, TV still has to go on, you know. You can't run reruns all the time. I and mean, he is fighting his own battle out here without the danger of weaponry. True. Get some cooking shows out there. She is uh, multifaceted. It's, why did the noise have little nurse in your hats? She's enjoying this a bit much. Needs a little salt. That's the first time I've heard that. All? Did she say all? But it's missing a certain something. Ah, good enough won't do.
See, I said, secret ingredient, salt. <laughs> and I'm so glad that the there's going to be nothing left after all this tasting. That's a joke. And I'm so glad that the hospital told me that I need more salt in my diet. I've been holding that one for years. Discount? I mean, even in the course of trying to take over the world, you can't skip out on a cheap deal. Nothing fishy about this price. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, they're very enthralled with the idea of, uh, well, not only the sale, but the fish itself. And how much can you rely on deities for their their part in the creation of supermarket sales. I think we need more of just small out of function interactions between the, the, the friends. Are you going to wear, start wearing some heels or something? That was it. Okay. No need to keep that sketch going longer than I needed to. <laughs> Why was she so uh, surprised by that? Also, the music sting in the background. You can always recognize an organ. Yeah, and I guess they don't exactly have good heating in this place. Hmm. So they're using her as a radiator. See, exudes heat at such a good rate. My hands and legs and whatnot, I always feel cold, but apparently I am incredibly warm to the touch. So take that as you will. Someone out there will be happy. Her internal thoughts are so complex. Does this mean need more salt as well? Oh. Yeah. Wear some longer skirts, maybe some shorts underneath or something. Uh, I is the um Shrine. Anything that she set up gonna be, you know, her parents gonna be annoyed with the amount of moaning that she she has every time she comes back from a day of work. Who wouldn't appreciate a DVD? Well, it really depends on what's on it. To be fair, there's a few good movies I can think of. Do you have any more that you can uh, you can recommend to her? Just wait until she sees John Wick. I wasn't expecting the 
quick flash into the song like this. Small skits and the like. Oh yes. The lyrics stem from the soul, your true wants. It's the uh, the inner mind, what one truly thinks. <laughs> Suddenly shouting behind him, the poor man, like, what the hell is going on? Women are such an enigma. So the animation in this is just move the JPEG there. <clears throat> no matter what happens, yeah, if, I mean, Chris can integrate with them. I mean, do they have photos of that incident? Yeah, they're all gone before the conversation finishes. <laughs> that was the last we ever saw of Hibiki. Giving the peace of mind that there may be more ahead of them. Found this amongst the evidence. I hope she didn't read it. Mm. I didn't know she could read. But yeah, no matter when, I always like seeing those little behind the scenes moments, the small conversations that may seem insignificant between the characters, and yet exude and portray so much more. Sure, it might seem a little out of place if it was in an actual episode, so I understand why it was handled to the OVA like this. Having Maria be insecure and worrying and questioning if she could actually handle the, the well, what was to come after that, you know, the first interaction there before the concert or debacle. Gives a a new a new layer to it all. You know, she's not this confident leader of some organization willing to take on the world itself. Just a cog in the machine. But there's quite a few funny little moments. Having the at home times with uh, Miku and whatnot, setting up the the room and to we gotta make use of. Every bit of uh, floor space we can. I mean, piling up all of the stuff on the bed so that they've got the rest of the floor to do whatever they want on. What do they have planned? And of course, yeah, let's not scupper her dreams. Tell her that she can't sleep with her. The nights would be so lonely otherwise. If they do have a large room, maybe they can upgrade from bunk beds. Yeah, maybe an Ottoman style. Still have the storage space, but a nice sleeping arrangement as well. Still with all of the characters, while they may be a little exaggeration of themselves, having the ability to go a little beyond what might have been shown in the actual show, having Maybe even worries, small new nuances to the characters that has elevated my enjoyment slightly, and I hope more OVAs do this, rather than just what I assume to be at the beginning, just a bunch of small skits and jokes. There was some, especially with Chris, some very heartfelt moments which kind of grew the character even more. But we can't 
take for granted the background work that the commander and the manager would go through. Setting up all of these quiz shows. It must be difficult getting her all of the appointments and almost notoriety to be on TV all the time. Where does she find the time to not only fight the noise, but record all the songs, practice? Have any time to herself, really. Especially when you're hidden away from the world for a couple of weeks. That might have affected things. But I'm so glad that I carried on with Simfo Gear. I've said it probably about seven times now, but... Season 1 was nice but it didn't live up to why everyone kept shouting about how, how great Symfo Gear was, and I just didn't get it. Now it's carried on, now I've finished Symfo, G Symfo Gear G. Maybe I'm starting to understand. <laughs> and if it's only an uphill ride from here, well, it should be fun to see where it ends. But that should go to say... I'm not stopping here, so look out for next week. If you want to make sure not to miss it, consider subscribing. You know, just a thought. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, can you at least just hop over back, show your appreciation so that the channel gets some sort of recognition? YouTube has really scuppered me in the past year. Still, if you've enjoyed, let me know. Maybe leave a like on the video. But for now, get some rest. Enjoy an action movie or two in the time that we have to get back to Simfo Gear. And I'll see you for the next one. My patrons are the glue that holds everything together in the background. Because without them, my channel would be sleeping in its bunker bed alone. So I do need to thank Noku, Sal, Guado, Kite, Ruben Fanamawa, Raywin, Wolfie Sensei and everyone else. And if you would like to be the inner workings that would drag me along to a quiz show, consider joining onto my Patreon as well.